Sia Kolisi, the South African hero who led the Springboks to historic World Cup victories, is on the verge of returning to his former club, the Sharks. But like any good rugby story, this one has its twists and turns. According to exclusive information from Rugby Pass, Khaleesi's return to the Sharks, which once seemed certain, is now facing serious obstacles that could bring everything crashing down. Let's revisit how we got here. At 33, Khaleesi decided to venture into European rugby, joining Racing 92 in France. However, his time there has been anything but a fairy tale. After just 18 matches for the French club, Khaleesi found himself in the midst of a storm of criticism, especially from Racing 92 owner Jackie Lorenzetti. In a blunt statement, Lorenzetti didn't hold back, saying that Khaleesi gained weight, lost shape and was invisible during Racing's loss to Bordeaux Beagles in the top 14 playoffs in June. With this scenario, Khaleesi expressed interest in returning to the Sharks and negotiations seemed to be progressing. But as revealed by Rugby Pass, everything took a turn. Lorenzetti, disappointed with Khaleesi's performance and perhaps feeling like his investment didn't pay off, decided to play hardball. He is now demanding the full return of the 17 million rand, around 726,200 pounds, he paid for the player, refusing any instalment proposal from the Sharks. This inflexibility has brought the negotiations to a standstill. Now, Khaleesi finds himself in a delicate situation. With negotiations stalled, he may be forced to return to Paris after the Springboks' final rugby championship match against Argentina. What should have been a triumphant return to the Sharks is now on the brink of collapse, and the relationship between Khaleesi and Lorenzetti, already strained, seems to be deteriorating by the day. Can this situation be turned around? Will the Sharks find a solution that satisfies everyone involved? Or will Khaleesi be forced to fulfill the remainder of his contract in France, despite such a hostile environment? What do you think about this saga? Leave your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to Green and Gold Army News for more explosive news and heated debates about the world of rugby.